What's up guys, Goro here and welcome back to episode number 5 of Missy's Mission. We are back with plenty to grind today. As you can tell by the title, we have finally got a fully upgraded Missy Bokerns to use. We're going to be testing that out to try and get into Division 8, so let's see if we can do that. On top of that though, we need to make some coins, so... The tried and trusted bronze pack method is coming to this video. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how we can go from maybe five to 10,000 coins upwards to 50 to 100,000 coins. It is super simple to do. It takes a bit of time, but let's see what happens. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like, rate, and comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's hop into today's video. So here we are in it to today's video. Now we're starting off with obviously claiming Missy Bokerns. As I said at the end of yesterday's video, we needed to get her upgraded, and I have done so. It has taken a bit of time to do it. Thankfully, these rival games seem to be a little bit easier to do. I think we played six or seven, and we won five of them, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but what it does mean is we're going to get a one place, a th well, three physical, actually, which isn't too bad, and then a pinged pass as an extra play style on Missy, and we also get a plus two. So... That means our 74 rated Missy Bokerns that we had from the Evolutions has now finally been upgraded. And this card design looks absolutely fantastic. It's like no other. Obviously, these Evolutions look really, really good. 78 pace, 71 shooting, 80 passing, 79 dribbling, 68 defending, sorry, 63 defending, and 71 physicals. Again, this card is really, really good. Now, obviously, yes, it's not the best of the best cards. We would like to get a better upgrade on it. So hopefully, within the next week or so, we will start seeing a few more evolutions. Obviously, there is plenty for us to work on. And one that we were talking about yesterday is Ivan Perisic. Now, this is something that I want to spend some of our thief points on. As you can still see, we've still got about 3,500. Um, we've opened a few packs yesterday. We didn't really get anything too good, I'll be honest with you. But... Ivan Perisic is the one I'm going to go for here. There's a few different ones that you could go for. Um, but for me, Perisic upgrades to a very, very good card. One that can play as a forward, as a midfielder. I think he'll be a really good option. So what we are going to do is we are going to start the evolution. Um, as this says, obviously becoming untradeable, which is absolutely fine. We are going to spend it with FIFA points because we've got them. We may as well make the most of our free FIFA points from EAFC Ultimate Edition. I think it's a good way of doing it, especially on the road to glory. You're not going to have 50,000 coins like we do. Um, we don't have it. So what it is going to allow us to do is obviously go to an 80 rated Perisic, which is pretty decent. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Scoring four goals and playing five games with him, fairly simple. Then we obviously go to an 82 rated Perisic, which would be assisting four goals, winning two games and playing five. Again, shouldn't really be too hard to do. And then on top of that, we have an 85 rated Perisic. This is the card that we will be getting. He'll be four star, five star, which I think is absolutely fantastic. High, medium, pretty good for us. He's six foot one, so he's going to absolutely boss the midfield. He can play as a left wing back. So if we've changed to a three at the back or a five at the back, he's going to be perfect. He can play as a left mid, left wing and right winger. So across the whole front line, he'll be absolutely perfect. And these are his stats. These stats look absolutely fantastic by the end of it. The only thing I'm going to suggest on doing is probably adding either a shadow to him to make him pretty much like all 80s and everything, or we're going to add a catalyst to him. I think a catalyst makes more sense, um, but if we're going to hold, like use him as a holding midfielder, I think this is a good option that will obviously help us out. So obviously Perisic, we are going to start working on him. We will obviously play one game with this team, with the brand new Evolve Missy Bokerns. A few additions, obviously we packed Allison yesterday as well, which is very, very nice. I've brought in Romero as well because we have packed him um, just to give us a bit of chemistry. So 31 chemistry, the only ones missing it is just these two strikers. Now Russo, genuinely believe she is phenomenal for us. 16 games, 10 goals, 11 assists, really, really good. Morata again, 16 games, 17 goals and 5 assists. Really, really enjoying this card. Missy Bokerns for us, 25 games, 14 assists and 4 goals. Super, super enjoyable. 18 goal contributions in 25 games is fantastic. And then hopefully we're going to increase Perisic a little bit more from the 3 goal contributions. But yeah, overall some really, really key players. Obviously um, Bernardo Silva getting involved. It is a very much just attack, attack, attack. Um, we, we don't really have a defence in terms of like defensive midfielders, but with Perisic, it will allow us to bring one or two more in. And there is also another upgrade we want to do. Now, thankfully, for 6pm content yesterday, we got a brand new SBC. Not only did we get an actual like upgrade SBC, but 
We got James Madison. Now, this is a card that is very, very good. Four-star, four-star. Can play on the right or the middle, uh, which is I think is really good. Very similar to Perisic. A little bit low in the pace. And then everything else is just really good for what you need. Shooting, passing, and dribbling. So because of that, again, probably like a catalyst on him would be ideal. Or a hunter if we're going to use him as more of like an attacking player. But I think he'll be more of a midfield option. So this is somebody that I want to do. Now, we did also have a duplicate 83 rated. So we are going to start him. It's quite simple. It's an 83 rated team, which as you can see there, it's not really getting rid of too much that we needed from the club. Um, I actually am all right to get rid of it. Wilson we had to buy, which was what? 800 coins i think i bought him for for our english player which is absolutely fine so we're going to submit that because that's the start and then from there we have an 85 rated team with a premier league player now this is a little bit more expensive however we've got one or two high rated cards and on top of that we have the 83 times 10 packs to open today so plenty of stuff for us to do now all of these like lawn mower packs and whatever i'll open in my own time i'm not really too bothered about them right now and we are obviously going to open the gold pack here, which is going to be quite useful if we need to do any SBCs. And again, that is something that we are going to cover. Once we've done a bit of bronze pack method, we're going to finish the video off on two very good SBCs. But for now, what we're going to do is we'll go open the 83 times 10 pack because I think this could be very, very good for us. And um, we are going to work on the Nike Mad Ready stuff across the week. I'm not going to do it right now. And um, we can do it a little bit further on in time, which is absolutely fine. Daily objectives have been done. The bi-weekly objectives are getting done, which is really, really good for us. So we're in a good position as it stands in terms of this account. Um, but as I say, we have our level 10 reward. Now, the two options are the 83 times 10 or the 84, 84 times 5, sorry. I think, for me, the 83 times 10 offers a bit more in terms of fodder. So we're going to rip it open and we're going to see what we get. So let's go open it. And here it is in all its glory. This is where we could get one of the Nike promo cards, which would be fantastic. Maybe even something like an, an informed Salah. I would quite happily take him. Here we go. It is going to be German striker from Bayern Munich. Okay, it's going to be Schuller, but it is a walkout, so we will take that. That is very, very nice. Again, not a bad card, not maybe very usable, but with the buying links, isn't too bad whatsoever. Sadly, not going to be a double walkout, but in behind, we are going to get Madison, Ericsson, not a lot else, but we do get Lauren James, actually. This is really good. She's about 15,000 coins, a very, very usable card. Do not mind that, five-star, four-star, so to be honest... The 83 times 10 pack has definitely paid out for us there, which you do not mind. We get Halar as a duplicate again, but that is okay because there is an SPC that we can put him into, uh, but we will do that later on. Sadly, no upgrades for the team, I would say, unless you would describe Lauren James as somebody that could come into the team. I don't have a issue with lose. Well, with, yeah, I don't have an issue with using her. I think she could be quite good. Obviously, a lot of people are saying she's good. Schiller probably is going to go into Madison. Madison will go into Madison. Um, that will help us out. I feel like she might have a usable card. 3-star, three 3-star three star isn't great. So, yeah, maybe not the best. She's also 5'8", which isn't too bad. But Lauren James is a very usable card for us. Obviously, we packed Verna yesterday as well. Um, so, he's coming off the bench for us quite a lot. Maybe, do we try Lauren James as a striker? I think I don't want to for now. I think... Whilst this team is doing well for us, we have one more game to try and get into Division 8. So I think, without further ado, we are going to go and use Missy Bokerns. We are going to go and test her out. As I say, one more win will give us to Division 8. So let's go see if we can get that win and get to Division 8. Right then, so into the game we go. We are against Lovely G. Missy's mission is in full roll right now. This is a very, very good team that we're up against. Cristiano Ronaldo in there. Along with a few decent cards. Obviously, Bernardo Silva, we know how good he is. A decent backline of Scrinion and John Stone. So, this could be tough. But if we can get an early goal or two with a little bit of a russo Morata link up, we shouldn't be too bad. It's a good save by Allison. Thankfully, after he dribbled through the whole team, <laughs> it was a very good save by Allison. And we just need to make sure to defend this corner. He's hit the bar. We need to get rid of it. There we go. We have got rid of it, which is a very good for us. And then Russo can try and break away against Balde. Not going to quite do it, but does win a free kick for us. Missy Bokern's winning it for us and starting off that move. 
allowing Balde to actually get quite forward into the box. He's dribbled into the box. He's going to cut it back. It just doesn't quite work out. He's dribbled all the way through, and it's just a lucky rebound for him. It was a great save by Allison to start off with. But that's a super frustrating goal to score. And there we go. That's half time. So, it's not great half. We're really struggling in the final third. Missy Bokerns is just picking up everything in the midfield. Reminds me of a Kante of years gone by. Just winning every sort of ball in the midfield. Finding out the pass. He's had one lucky chance with a rebound goal. And that's what we're losing to. So hopefully we can pick up the other two goals to start winning in the next half. It's a ball perfect from Morata into Russo. Who finds a way all the way through. Can she take it past the keeper? She can. Surely that's a sending off. I mean, I know the keepers can't get red cards, but absolutely wiped her out. Now, we are available to take a free kick with Missy Bokerns. However, I would rather try and, well, I was going to say play it short. Instead, Martinez from the outside of the box. It is a very good save by Romero, though. Missy Bokerns shoots. Oh, and she's put it wide. As if. <laughs> Morata is through. The question is, does he have the pace on screen yard? Not quite. And yet again, it's another good tackle by him. Trying to run into the box with... Oh, he's found it back post. It's a good save by Allison. We've got seven minutes on the clock to try and get two goals. We could possibly get one and draw the game at best, but I don't see us getting into Division 8 right now. And there we go. It's as simple as that, this FIFA, to score a goal just against the byline. Cut it back, tap it in, and it's 2-0, sadly. If we can get a goal, that would be quite nice, but it's not going well so far for us. This is probably the last attack of the game. As I say, a consolation goal would be nice. Can we get one here? Not quite. Ivan Perisic does knock it home, so considering we're doing the evolutions on him, the goal and the game actually does help us out in the end, but sadly, it took us to the 93rd minute to score our first goal with this team. Now... Uh, I'm not the best at gameplay, but I really should have made the most of my chances there. This guy had two very simple goals, and they didn't quite work it out, out in my favour. However, we might not be good at gameplay, but I am very good in the menus. And because of that, as we said before with the bronze pack method, we need to go and make some coins. So let's go test it out and show you guys what to do. Right, so we are going to go and hop into some bronze packs. However, uh, I do realise there is a bit of an issue. From that 83 times 10 that we opened just before... Uh, we do have a duplicate Halaire. Now, there's two different SBCs that we could do with this. One that would give us a pack. Or, one that completes James Madison. We are going to do this a lot quicker than I expected to. Did not plan on doing him right away. However, two duplicates Hallers. I mean, obviously, an 83 rated was fairly simple for us. But, considering we have the fodder to do this, I think we're going to submit it. Yes, we're going to get rid of a few decent cards here. However... Cards are never going to get into the team are in this right now, and I'm not really too bothered. When we used um, Panos, she was decent in goal, but being 5 for 7 isn't ideal. Obviously, we now have Allison, so we're not going to need another goalkeeper till probably team of the year, even maybe team of the season, in all honesty. So we are okay with Allison. Um, in terms of um, Sherla, obviously, we packed her before. Again, not really somebody who's going to get into the team. When we got like a Werner, when we got a uh, Lauren James, forwards we're okay for. And then Parejo, we don't really need. The rest is all just 83 and 84 rated fodder, which doesn't really help us out. And we're probably going to obtain more of it. So, we actually have our first special card into the club, apart from Evolutions. And it is going to be the brand new Player of the Month, James Madison. This card looks absolutely phenomenal i am super super excited to test him out and not only that the actual walkout dynamics for this the whole car design looks unbelievable um so fair play to ea they actually have this under lock this card looks really really good gonna play in a fantastic role in midfield for us super easy to link obviously with him being english and premier league let me know are you guys doing him down below um, because I think this is an SBC that you can't miss out on. Whether you're running a FIFA points account or like we are right now with Road to Glory, I actually think it's very, very obtainable. It's there for a month. I mean, I know I've done it within, well, as I'm recording this, two hours of him being out. However, um, we could easily have done him in a month's time and he'd still be quite usable. He is going to go into the team. We will make the most of him, so I'm super excited with that. But 
that is Madison dealt with. So it does allow us to get into the packs. Now, as I say, all the low mo packs we're not really that bothered by. We do have the small gold pack from um, obviously completing Madison. So we'll quickly open that. See if we can get anything good. Hoiberg. Okay, that's not bad. It's an 84 rated. Um, so we will take it, obviously, again. Filling the club back up again with a bit of fodder, just depending on what we get over the next few days. Obviously, plenty of different cards have been winning player of the month. So maybe we see, you know, a Jude Bellingham sometime soon. That would be nice. As an English player in the midfield with Missy Bokerns, I'd quite like to see that. So it depends. We'll see what we get. We also have a two rare gold pack, which is a Belgium centre forward. It is going to be... Dries Mertens, it would have been very nice to get Kevin De Bruyne. Obviously, his SPC is out. We won't be completing that because it is super expensive unless we miraculously discover fodder for it. But for now, the focus turns to here. 7,000, not 7,000 coins, 750 coin packs. Bronze pack methods are going to be what we need to do. Now, it is very simple to do these. As I say, you just open these packs. Now, personally, I like to discard all of um, the consumables. However... If you are to pack kits, if you are to pack badges, they may sell on. Obviously, you sadly can't see the badges. Some of these TFOs would sell, but considering how um, common they are, obviously, most people are trying to sell them to make the most of the coins. What you do want to do is sell on cards that will sell. Now, this card is probably going to sell for 200 coins because uh, he's English. Obviously, anybody starting up the game needs to mainly get English players to do SBCs with them. Um, we also have a Norwegian who he's not going to sell, so we're going to keep hold of him. And then the Chinese League goalkeeper... Could sell on if we listed them a few times, but probably isn't. So what we're going to do is from that pack, you get 200 coins from the card you sold, 200 coins from the Discord, uh, sorry, from this cards, and you get two cards to add back to the club. Now, the whole point of bronze pack method isn't necessarily to make coins. Yes, it will obviously help if you can get some decent cards. So getting an English CDM, especially not from the English leagues, can be quite helpful. Um, we'll check out, obviously, how much he is. But you're mainly looking to make back your coins and add a little bit extra. So 150 coins there plus another 100 there. So that gives us 250 coins straight away. Then from this, again, probably an English CDM. He will sell on eventually. So I am going to list him up. Sadly, I don't think either of these two cards are going to sell. So again, another two cards saved. But we've made roughly 450 coins there from that pack. So we've lost 300, but technically for the price of bronzes right now, if you bid on them at 150, that's your 300 coins. So you're going to make these cards back. You're going to fill the club with bronze cards. Now in the later grind with league SBCs, that will obviously help us out. But until then, we can just fill the club up. Now you can get managers. Now if you get a Brazilian manager, they do sell on very, very nicely. The Polish manager isn't. So I'm actually going to take the coins for him um, just because I don't really need the managers in my club. Again, another English player that will sell on for 200 coins straight away, so it is worth taking them. And then two Koreans, which, again, possibly would sell if I listed them for a while. But for now, I'm going to save them. So the rough gist of this is open the pack, sell on what's selling right now. If you can make the coins, fantastic. If not, then it's absolutely fine. Again, some of these cards won't sell. A German centre-back can be quite good um, for particular SBCs. It is a rare card as well, so when we actually have a look... These cards probably will sell on for about 250 coins. These can go even more expensive, um, which would be very nice if we do get that. This is a Northern Irish player, so not really great, but again, could sell on for 200 coins. Now in this pack, we also get four players. So if you can sell all of them at 200 coins, you make 800 coins back straight away. So that is very nice. I'm going to keep the Red Tifo just for the actual stadium eventually. Um, Sub-Americanas, these aren't selling for 7,000 coins. Um, as much as the price says it, they don't sell for that, but these are very good, again, when League SPCs come. So that is the rough idea of it. Obviously, if you guys don't understand it, please leave a comment down below. We can explain it further. But for the next sort of half an hour to hour, I'm going to open these packs as much as I can, try and sell on, and then we're going to come back to, hopefully, a tray pile that might have made us some coins. Right then, so we are back after a little bit of time of grinding. As you can tell by the coins, we've technically not made that many. However... There's a reason for this. Now, I haven't super long grinded this game. All that I've done is open a few packs, see what we get, and then just sell on a few bits. As you can see, we've sold 30 things. We're currently still selling eight more items. So if all of those eight items sell, we're going to be in profit, which is really, really good. Now, I've just been doing this sat watching the football. It's super simple. If you've got nothing to do or you're just chilling out, it's an easy way to... Right now, fill our club full of bronzes, which is a really, really good start until we get like a big SPC where 
stuff like this sells for a thousand coins or what i did notice is league gun players are selling for a little bit right now because of the brand new daily spc it obviously helped out quite a bit so premier league players sell on obviously from yesterday's spc that's going to help out for league spcs we also have managers selling on because people need to buy them for objectives and also for the team so they're really good um, and as i say there's still a few more bits selling so if we can sell all of these on we're making about another 1500 coins that will put us in a little bit of profit now if you do this big scale and do this for maybe like five to six hours one day then you're probably going to make back anywhere between you know 20 and 100 000 coins it just depends on what you pack we didn't pack anything major apart from maybe like two or three cards we've had some decent bits and bobs so cannot complain there whatsoever obviously we will clear all of them off what we did also do is right at the start of the game because we still have the objective in milestones for let's get to it here the transfer market by listing all the way up to 500 cards you get a few coins for 100 250 and 50 cards so because we've done that we make 1500 coins so it definitely puts us in profit it's going to mean that if we continue on this grind we can make a few coins here and there and as i say the club is now full of cards i've also changed around the team a little bit and um, because this is the team we are going to run with eventually now what i am going to do is i'm going to spend a little bit of time in squad battles squad battle rewards come out sunday at 8 a.m now so because of that we are about 11 hours away from that. Um, we, we are currently on about 3,000 points. Now, I do want to work towards getting it is over here for squad battles. There's there's a decent set of rewards for, I think it's gold two from what I remember. Um, so it's here. So it's this one here, which is a small red gold pack, a 15K pack and a 7.5K pack. You get 600 XP, which will take us to the next level, which is really good, and 7,000 coins, which again will help us out just a little bit to continue on. So we're currently on 3,000 points. Um, you can't see that because it's behind my face. But what we do need to get to here is we need about 11,000 points. So if I get to about another 10,000 points, that should put us in a pretty good place. What I'm going to do at the same time is using this team, I'm going to try and complete some of the upgrades on Perisic. So you'll be able to see me with an upgraded Perisic, hopefully in tomorrow's video. Um, but obviously, I'll be able to use Missy Bokens a little bit more, test out a few more of these cards, get a few more objectives complete. I will also chuck in Chiesa as well, um, just to be able to complete his card. So it will mean that we'll obviously get that complete. As I say, I'll work on the chemistry and get the law sorted. But tomorrow, we'll have squad battle rewards with hopefully some decent packs. We should have a bit more of an upgraded Perisic, which will be very nice. But for now, that is where we're going to leave it for today's video. As I say, tomorrow, plenty of big stuff to do. Missy Bokerns is now fully upgraded as much as we can. So hopefully, we get a brand new evolution soon to continue on the process. Let me know down below what you think of this team so far. And with that being said, that's where we're going to leave it for today. And I'm out. Peace.